Act One, Scene Two. Marcus Farmhouse. Apparently, I have a TV for you. The dog. Wait, is it my dog? Because I, I didn't see it like get off of the truck or anything, but it's here. An old hound in straw hat would have seen better days. Yeah, I, I figured. Oh, he's carrying the TV, I think. Good. A street plant light the base of the dusty path leading up the hill. Okay, well, let's, let's go up the hill, I guess. Seems to be... Oh, oh. <laughs> poor dog starting to follow really slowly. Yeah, just just sit, sit there. Just sit down and wait for me and... Oh, it's not as far as I thought it was. What's that? Graveyard? A family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Really? Like, you just bury your people on your land like that? Headstones are inscribed by the surname of the unfortunate. Nowakowski Padilla Marquez. That's sad. I hope that they died of old age. And like, really, really old age and they were... They had a good life. Uh, it would be nice if they had the good life. I have your TV! Oh, door opened. I switch? Hello? I was just thinking what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Do you happen to see an owl? Um, it, it, it is a nice house. Um, I didn't see any owls. Uh, I, I've never been here. I, it is a nice house, I guess. It's, it's, it's yours and it's nice. I know. Like the large beams that run across the ceiling. I like to sit in the house and think of the hills and bluffs around us like a like a cradle. Okay. There used to be another house here, but we had it destroyed and we built this one. It was very expensive and we got quite under water. Wait, what? We got quite under water. What do you do for work? Is it too difficult or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? Um, do I have to make small talk with you? This place is kind of weird. It's better than being in a ditch. That, that's rude. Um, I'm looking for the zero. I drive deliver deliveries for a small antique shop. I guess I can answer the question. I believe it's hard times for small antique shops. It's hard time everywhere. Even out here on the little farm. My parents stopped paying the bank a while back. I shouldn't even be here, but I just stayed. Why are you telling me your life story? <laughs> I'm just here to deliver your TV and stuff. I have some notebooks. I'm only a little bored. I might prefer to watch TV occasionally. Oh, he says you're smart to watch TV. <laughs> Actually, I have your TV right here uh, that, that I think belongs to you. Will you please set it up? Then I can explain to you how to get where you're going. The zero, I know. So you guys like talk to each other on the phone or something? Okay. Uh, 
Your your house is destroying itself. What's going on? What the crap? Are you a ghost too? Because I think I saw some ghosts in the basement over there. And your house is weird. That's not how it's supposed to look. You've made a mistake setting it up. Is it a foreign subject to you? Which of your parents was it who wouldn't allow you to watch television? What are you talking about? Ma thought she heard ghosts in the attic. Dad thought he was radioactive. I know how to set up a TV. You plug it in, it's done. Okay, I'm skeptical. Fuck you! <laughs> you have it all backwards. I'm not surprised. Are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. It's time to start paying attention now, Conway. Look closely at the television. Okay. Look at the TV. Hey, there's a horses. That's up. Wait, you went past the TV. What's that? Hey. Hey, wake up. You spaced out for a minute there. The picture on the TV. What do you keep in that barn? TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TV for a living. Well, she used to. I think she's... Uh, I think the new models are giving her some trouble. So I really just need to get to the zero. Honestly, I'm not convinced you should bother with the Zero. I'd much rather you find my cousin and fix my TV. Well, of course you'd prefer if I fixed your problems instead of helping me. Uh, but I'll get you ahead uh, the, the right way. So it's pretty easy. Get back on the 65. Heading north. Then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. You have a factory for artificial limbs. Okay. From there, the arrival at the zero is basically inevitable. I take the 65, heading north until I get to the limb factory. And then I just kind of get there. Nice to know you, Conway. Keep your eyes open, especially in the dark. In the dark? I don't want to go back in the dark. It's scary in the dark. Well, can I still help you with your TV? What? Wait, what? Where'd you go? What the hell? Was it you just drove off? You left a stranger in your house and you drove off? The crap is wrong with you. <laughs> okay, so. I guess I got the instructions to go to the zero. I don't like that sound. Maybe I should have helped fix the TV. Even though it's none of my problems. Would have been nice, I guess. Where the dog at? Where the dog at? Oh, there he is! Hey, doggy! What the... Yeah, she kind of creeped me out. <laughs> That's a weird energy. That's not her fault, I guess. Some folks are just like that. I guess it's not really her fault. Uh, I guess. Let's go, dog. Okay. 